Muhammad Ali, the champion. He's lost only twice to our colleague Ken Norton and to Joe Frazier, 35 years old. Beaten the two times in 56 pro fights. Never been knocked out. He's been knocked down only four times by Joe Frazier, Henry Cooper, Sonny Banks early in his career in that half knockout, half push from Chuck Webner, the champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Ken Norton, the wait, that two, three-minute wait before the champion arrives after you've already entered the ring. What does that do to you? Well, it doesn't do that much because you're already in your own, you know, your own world, so to speak. Your mind is what it should be. You're thinking about what you should do, and you're kind of trying to psych yourself up more. Uh, if it's a long period of time that you wait for the man, it might bother you. But for three or four or five minutes, it doesn't bother you. It only helps psych you up more. Because you know Ali's strategy mainly is to have you waiting and have you uh, trying to burn up that energy. Ali always has his fun, but he is taking this one very lightly, at least on the outside. I think Ali's a very smart individual. He's not taking the man too lightly. And now the introductions. Let's go up to the center of the ring. Athletic Commission, your judges, Eva Shane and uh, Tony Castellano. The timekeeper is Fred Abatello. The referee for the main event is Johnny Lobienko. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the principals for the main event first, the challenger. He hails from Levittsburg, Ohio. He weighs 211 and one quarter pounds in blue trunks, trimmed in white. The man who's caused more blackouts than Con Edison, here is Ernie Shavers. His opponent, originally from Louisville, Kentucky, he now fights out of Chicago, Illinois. He weighs 225 pounds, white trunks, trimmed in black, the one, the only, the world champion, Muhammad Ali. Fifteen rounds or less, Johnny Lopianko is your referee. No question about the crowd reaction. It's a Muhammad Ali audience as we begin tonight, Ken Norton. Now, for the first time, we see both men without their robes. How about Ali? Some say he's not in shape. What do you think? I think the man is in shape, but he's a little flabby. The thing remains to be seen if he's weak or not. Ali was way overweight a few weeks ago, a few days ago, whatever, and he seems to have fasted to lose the weight very quickly. And at times, this has the tendency to weaken you. And so in later rounds or in other rounds, we will soon see. Taunting Ernie Shavers. It's almost difficult to take Ali seriously, isn't it? Or is it? No, it isn't, because you know when you get out there in the middle of the ring, once the bell rings to start the fight, and he's out to take care of you. And you have to be in, you know, in shape. You have to be in the frame of mind to also be out to take care of him. Ali continuing to stare down Shavers. Shavers uh, seems to accept it all very well. He's uh, almost obliterated what Ali is doing until the bell rings, and then he'll see what happens. That's true. I think Shavers said he's, uh, this is one chance in a lifetime to make it, a chance for him to make a lot of things for his family, to get a lot of things for his wife, and uh, I'm sure he, he knows what he has to do, and he's ready. It's scheduled for 15. Most people feel it will not go seven, and Ali is an obvious favorite. But Shavers has the power, if he can put two big punches together, he says, to win the title. Both men are starting out with a very good jab. Ali's got a good flicking jab. Uh, Shavers is trying to use a good, stiff hard drive. Ali is three inches taller, but their reach equal at 80 inches. Although it appears Ali has more arm span. Shavers is starting a pattern. He's throwing small shots, easy shots at the body, and soon he'll come with the right hand over the top. He's trying to get Ali to lower his hands a little bit so he comes with the right hand over the top.
different from Ali in this first minute. Uh, yeah, no, he's setting a pattern. He's trying to fill out Shavers and find out what he's going to do. Shavers is also he's setting a definite pattern that's stated before. He's throwing a small shot to the body and just put one right hand over the top, hoping to catch Ali off guard. Ali constantly moving to his left. Which is definitely his older pattern. Right hand, but it was a reaching right hand and not a full impact on the chin of Ali. Holly's corner is Holly wants to box and try to get his win again. Pick it up. Go to work, sir. Drew Brown in the corner of Ali can be heard in the background as he shouts encouragement. But it's really Angelo Dundee who does most of the serious talking in that corner. I don't know. I think Houdini is kind of like a spiritual thing to Ali. He keeps his going. He's kind of a good luck thing. Houdini is the cheerleader. And when it comes down to strategy, it's more likely to be Dundee. Final minute of round one. You'll also notice Ali is not used to getting jab back. He's very good jabber, but he doesn't like to accept a jab back. So he tried to jab on the hip. And he tried to, and so he tried to also counter off a Chambers jab. It's been a fairly stationary Muhammad Ali in round one. He's not done much dancing. Stayed up on his toes and well spread. One thing I don't understand is that Chambers is going down. He's bucking the outside punches with his gloves. So I would think that Ali would throw one top, one shot over the top and come with an uppercut and the left hand from right hand. Closing seconds of round one. Madison Square Garden in New York for the heavyweight title. Thank you. Tell him what. At the very end of that round, Ali said to Shavers, I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you. For that round, he was. Ali easily winning. They votes of all three officials in round one. Those are the official votes that you're saying. But I don't think Ernie Shavers went into this fight and or think he'd outpoint Muhammad Ali. No, he didn't. His men out there to try to knock him out. Ali's throwing a big flurry here, but none of the punches are going through. A few, but one out of every eight punches is going through. For Ernie Shavers, that's a turnabout is fair play as Shavers gives a little rope-a-dope to Muhammad Ali, the master. Oh, a good right hand by Shavers. And Ali is hanging on. That might have hurt more than he's indicated. Ali gets hurt, he's definitely not sure. There's a small abrasion on the forehead of Ernie Shavers right now, right above the eyebrows. Ali again talking to Shavers. He's trying to talk the man into doing something about it. Another thing, if Shavers is listening to Ali talk, he cannot concentrate on what he's supposed to be doing. He was saying, you have got nothing, is what he just got. He just got a comment he just made. Did he talk to you much? Uh, quite a bit. We both talked quite a bit. I said to him, you'll soon be tired. I think this is what Ali is banking on. He's, he's hoping that the man will... Uh, Spend all of his energy, and then later on, he'll be tired. But then again, Chambers has stated that he's trained hard. He's went five, six, seven miles, and he's ready. Ali has already survived. Chambers best round. Of right hand, and Ali is hurt. Ali is staggered. His eyes are glossy. Although he waved him on, it seemed more an instinctive move by Ali. Chambers doesn't follow up immediately. Ali is hurt. Obviously goes to Shavers. One round apiece. The champion in the light trunks, 
staggered by some shaver right hands, but the one thing people have always underestimated about Ali is that he takes a punch as well as anyone. He's a very good punch. He has a way of covering it up. He has a way of outsmarting you. He has a way of tying you up in order to conceal it. His eyes appear to be clearer than they were in the middle of that second round. That was a grazing blow. What Sherris is doing, Ali is starting to jab. You see his right hand over the top of the jab, but it's also getting Ali extended out and he's connecting him. He's back to his pattern. He's going to right hand to the body, the soft right hand. That's him over the top of the right hand, calling the jab over the lead right hand. One thing Ali has lost with age, he doesn't move back away from a punch as well as he did five years ago. Ali's definitely starting to dance now. This might be not just to him. Again, it might be helping Shavers. He might be burning up energy. Uh, Shavers also might be getting the uh, two things that he has really hurt Ali, and he's kind of buckled him. He's taking his confidence away. Get out. Get out of there. Get out of there. Shavers, 33. Ali, 35. But although there's only the two years difference, everyone talks about Ali as being the old man before the fight tonight. I think it's because of the fact that everyone knows that Ali dissipates more than Shavers. You really don't know what the man is doing. It's mostly hearsay, mostly. You can't really believe what you read in papers, what you hear. The gray spot you see on the side of Ali's head is not gray hair. He has some rosin or some lubricant up in the hair. Vaseline. One minute remaining in round three. A respectful round by both fighters for their opponent. That's the official time. Round three. Oh, those are good flicking left hands. A good flicking left hands, and I think Shavers is about to come over the top of the right hand. That's where you think Shavers should go, right down there. Right there, in the bread basket, right behind the elbow. Let's get out, Shavers. Get off, get off. This is a point where Shavers doesn't respect all these punching power and all these definitely. Behind the elbow! Behind the elbow! Shavers picking off most of those blows with his gloves. This is what's amazing about Ali. He's not throwing up with them, but you can see the man's gloves are on the side of his face. Those are all in the gloves. Closing seconds, round three. You get right here, right? Out the open now. Get out the open. Get out the open. Get out. Ali wins round three, and now leads two to one on all three cards. Larry? Well, this is definitely not the fight most people were expecting from Ali to this point. He hasn't been laying on the ropes. He's been just trying to beat Chavis to the punch. I think money that's because he has more hand speed than because of the fact that Chavis is a very devastating puncher. He's good with the right hand, he's good with the left hand. All right, let's get out in the open. Ali would definitely not stand on the ropes and get hit in the body. I'm wondering, Kat, knowing that... Chambers has not gone beyond six rounds, but four or five times. If Ali, after being stunned, might try to box him, make him go farther into the fight, where then Ali might have the advantage. That's very true. I'm sure this is in the back of Ali. He said he said it before. He said, I'm toying with you, and soon you're going to be tired. But I think that he might be surprised that Chambers has trained hard for this fight. He's ran hard. He's worked hard. I'm sure that he'll be in there for four, 15 rounds, unless he gets caught with a very good shot. Surprised Ali's not dancing and staying away more. One minute gone, round four. As I stated before, it's surprising that Ali is not going up a bit more. Sabres both his hands are on the side of his face and he's blocking the wide shot. So Ali should be coming up the middle. Then again, it's very easy to sit out here and second guess what he man's doing in the ring. For Ali, this is his fourth. Oh, he's worn. Fourth richest payday is making $3 million tonight. Bernie Shavers, $300,000, which is more money than his other 60 fights put together. How do you have to break them, Muhammad? But for Shavers, it's just a taste. He knows what that crown would mean. It's very, he knows that $300,000 would be $3 million. Very quickly. You don't have to be a mathematics major to figure that out. One minute left in round four. Right 
above our microphone. Get off, get off now. Watch out. Alea stopped talking. He caught a left hand there. Justice here is going to say something. Don't rest on that. Body and nice and right from the top of the head. Another right hand. That's Jordan Ali. Chambers continues to score at the end of round four. The judges like the challenger. Lo Bianca, the referee, took the champion in round four. How does that stand now, Larry, after four? The two judges have the fight dead even two rounds apiece. The referee has it three to one for Ali. Ken Norton, you know that you don't try to beat Ali by a decision. That's very true. I think that now, Sarah's, he knows he hurt the man on, on numerous occasions. But he doesn't know to what extent he's hurt the man. He doesn't know what Ali's playing. He's not going to suffer him in, so definitely he's not going in. He's not going to waste his power, and he's going to bid his time. It could be helpful, and then again, it could hurt him. Lot, I mean, right now, Ali's definitely banking on the fact that the later round, Sarah's going to tire, and he can take advantage of that. He's standing up straighter than ever. I think he's been standing up straighter on his jab, which in turn has gave him Chambers the open avenue with the right hand. Ali is doing the jab, he's going to come back toward his waist. Chambers is counting at the same time the jab is supposed to be landing. And he's beating the jab, or he's counting over the jab. Okay, Muhammad, get your hand on One minute go. gone in round five. I think, again, I'm very sure that when he goes back to the corner, Angelo Dundee is instructing him of something to do to uh, warrant this offer, telling him that he's getting hit with this. But Ali is intelligent enough to smart enough boxers to find a way to beat it. As we can see here in this round, Ernie is definitely in very good shape. He's not tiring, he's not forcing the fight, and he's not wasting the punches. Is this Classic. a more resourceful Chambers than you've seen before, a man who's more under control? That's very true. He has complete control of himself. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he wants to do. He's not wasting any steps. He's not wasting any energy. And he's not wasting any punches. Final minute of round five. It's also a very confident Ernie Chambers. Ali scoring better with that right there left here in round five. It's more that classic left hand that we're accustomed to seeing in Ali's year since 1960. This is what he's going to have to do to win. He can't afford to set and throw the jab out because Ernie has a solution for it. He's going over the top. As long as he's moving and throwing the jab, moving to his left, he's been out of, no, out of range for our uh, Keep There goes the right hand to the body by Shivers, setting up the right hand over the top later on in the round. Break, break, don't wrestle, Shavers, don't wrestle. Scheduled for 15, of course, and we're closing in on the end of round five. It appeared to be a good round for the boxer, Ali. Very A sweep from all precincts in round five for Muhammad Ali. If you'll notice, this is really a, beg your pardon, this is really a different Ernie Shavers tonight. He's in complete control of himself. He knows what he wants to do. He knows when to do it. Okay, Shavers. Mr. Vaseline on Shavers at the end of round five, and Angelo Dundee complained about it. So the referee wipes some off, some excess. Ali invites Chambers into the corner, and he says, no, thank you. I'll try this one. Now, why wouldn't Chambers want him pinned in the corner? I don't know. He'll go in eventually. There we go. On his own accord, not by invitation. That's just a matter of psych, then, is what you're saying. Right. I think he would rather work his way in than have Ali call him in. In case you joined us late, 
in the other main event, light heavyweight Mike Rossman earned a unanimous decision over Gary Summerhays, the Canadian light heavyweight champion. One will tell you that Ali is tired. One will tell you that Ali is tired. When he gets tired, normally he'll start boxing a little bit. He'll start moving, he'll start using his legs. When he gets hurt, he'll start using his legs more. And uh, this is more of a thing where he can move and rest and kind of psych the man out. Last exchange, a good straight right to the midsection of Ali by Shavers. Close, but no QP down on that one. Well thrown shot, Ali. He has a very good eye, and he just pulled back just in the nick of time. This could be the rope of dope, but uh, Shavers won't buy it. Ali is definitely in the corner talking to him. Come on, son, this is what you want to do. Shavers is not falling for it. Can, couldn't Shavers just hurt Ali by hitting him on the arms? Uh, with his punching power, yes, he could. Right where the muscle meets the bone. But then again, he's taking a chance on hurting his own hands. For the final minute of round six. No knockdowns. Ali was shaken from some right hands from Shavers in the second round. That's a different Ernie Shavers. Saving everything. Definitely different. He's in very complete control of himself this evening. Got trainer Frankie Luca and Blackie Gennaro, the manager, have done a good job on Shavers, who has sparred 240 rounds to get ready for this fight. He's worked very hard. That's the end of round six. The challenger comes back to win round six. How does that make the cumulative stand, Larry? Well, the both judges still have it even three rounds apiece. The referee, John Lopianco, has Ali ahead four rounds to two. That's interesting. The two judges at ringside see it exactly the same, while the man who is closest to the action has Ali in front. He has a pretty commanding personality. That includes Perfect a right, right hand there, Dick. Great right hand. A short right hand, and it shows, again, the power of Shavers. He didn't throw that from too far away. You notice, again, the only time it lands when Ali is, st is still, he's a stationary target. He's going to jab, he's pulling back, and Shavers is leading in. Okay, we break again. Now, please, get that hand off the neck. John Lobianca asking the fighters very politely to break. One thing we all know, that champions are mortal. They're like baseball managers. When they're hired, they know one thing. They'll eventually someday be fired. And someday, Muhammad Ali will not be champion. I think Ernie Shaver is, certainly has given his... Backing the backing of the underdogs and hope tonight. That's a true statement. It's only it's a, for certain thing, the championship is only borrowed. Ali missing with a right hand, and Shaver's countered with a smile. You can't be This is round seven. Remember that Shavers and his 60 fights has gone this distance only six times, more than six. And it's Ali opening up. That was kind of a Shavers rope to rope, rope dope there. He got hit with quite a few punches, came back smiling. A very good shot. A good right hand. Ali had landed a good right hand, but Shavers countered over that right hand. Final minute of round seven. Counter with another good right, two good right hands. Okay, I'll be off. I'll be off. Ali is hurt. He's in the corner. Come on. This is a tactic to take a little breather. Ali's feet look heavy at the end of round seven. Sound eight coming up.
reminder, this Sunday, October 2nd, full slate of regional football action comes your way on NBC following NFL 77 at 12.30 Eastern time. It'll be then followed by the baseball action, and what a series coming up, Joe. We open it up Tuesday night, the playoffs. It'll open up in Los Angeles, 8 o'clock Eastern time. The Dodgers against the Philly Dodgers Stadium. It looks like a real battle, Dick. And there's Mrs. Laverne Shavers, lovely wife of Ernie. She's calm and poised now, but they say she'll root with the best of them. We go to round eight, the midpoint of this fight. The series has already fooled a lot of the boxing scribe. They thought he would be tired by round seven and begin to uh, lag behind. Ali with a slight lead. Shaver certainly has landed the heavier blows. Good move by Shaver. He's trying to turn the man to the side, hook to the body. Good stiff jab by Shavers that got through. We with you. Well, they're going into his peekaboo here in round eight. This is a conscious attempt by Ali to make this a rest round and just pace himself, force Shavers into longer distance. Uh, yes, it is, but then again, it's, it's, it's an effort to make Shavers try to burn some energy up, throw body shots, do something to burn that energy up so that Ali can take advantage later on in the fight. But Shavers is uh, falling for this tactic by Ali's, and uh, as you can see, it's, it's making a dull fight at the present time, but I'm sure that later on in the round, Ali's going to start, going to start flurrying. And then uh, Shavers will try to come up with a good hook on overhand right again. Quick left hands by Ali. Final minute of round eight. The very good shots, Bali, but there aren't, there's nothing behind it but speedy shots. Those catch the eye of the judges and referee and help you to win rounds, but they're not hurting Shane. At the present time, Ernie looks like he's, he's doing very well. He's not getting tired of Jet. He looks like he's preserving his energy very well. And he's picking the shots as he did early in the fight. You can bet, you can bet that Ali is watching his, his breathing. He's watching Ernie's uh, with the movement. If there's any difference, Ali will definitely take advantage of it. Two seconds left in round eight. And for many around the world, a surprise that Ernie Shavers is still battling Ali to this distance. Most felt it would be long over. All right, the end of round eight. Let's follow Ernie Shavers to his corner. He sits down while Ali across the way refuses to sit down. Ali is taunting the crowd now, some of them booing him, and he's reacting to the fans. And back to Ernie Shaver. Little uh, bruise above the nose on the bridge of the nose. At the same time that Shavers is under control, he's falling behind in the fight. He's going to have to get a little out of control to take command. He is. He's going to have to exert the pressure when Ali goes to the corners. Go to the rope, he's gonna to have to throw the body punches and kind of initiate the action. You're allowed a modicum amount of lubricant on your face, and they'll towel some of it off if there's too much, then the referee will ask for it to be wiped away. Wife right there by the ropes to cheer on Ernie Shavers. Ali has played with the crowd. A critical round, round nine, and we'll check the scoring in round eight. Oh, Shavers. Wins two of the three votes. Now there is the case in New York State where you're penalized if you're not the aggressor. And Ali certainly was not, although he seemed to land as many punches, if not more, than Shavers. He landed quite a few punches with the group. No, they were flurry punches, they were speedy punches. There wasn't any uh, zip on them, any power on them. He was doing them more for flash than for effect. Well, let's come on. Get inside, get inside. 
one good thing about Shavers is no matter what happens, if he gets tired during the fight, any time in the round, he can't hit you with a good shot and hurt you. Okay. Again, back in round two, Shavers staggered early with a couple of right hands. The most serious blows landed by Shavers, and he stayed in the fight. And we're in round nine. Ali has not piled up the big lead in rounds. And Shaver still represents that ever-present threat of the big right hand. Right now, Ali is toying with the man, trying to put his top in it, trying to make him do something unexpected, trying to make him make mistakes. that flurry by Ali, Ken. As you can see, most of the punches are going the outside. The only punches that land on Shavers are the ones up the middle. The other punches are hitting the outside of the glove, and they're drawing the man, but they're, uh, they're having no effect on the man. As you, as you saw, he came back with the overhand right, trying to land up on Ali after the flurry. Morning buzzer, prior to round 10. Remember that Ernie Shavers has never gone beyond 10, and he's only been this distance a handful of times. There's the scoring, Ali winning two of three. Shavers has fought a very intelligent fight and seems to have plenty saved for Ali here in round 10. Ali's starting to move more now with his left hand, and as Shavers is throwing the overhand right, he's turning slightly to the side, he's making the right hand go over his shoulder. As long as he's mobile, he can do this. When he stops, he's immobile. It's very easy for stationary. It's very easy for Shavers to catch him with the right hand. Ali countering well here on this first minute of round 10. That was more of a push than a good solid though. But Ali is finding the acorns a tough nut to crack. This is what Ernie must do more of. He must go behind the elbow and try to tire Ali out a little bit. Ernie's a very devastating puncher. He should take advantage of it. Halfway through round 10. No knockdown. back with him. That's very true. And you saw Ali try a, a left uppercut. At that time, he was on the left uppercut. Shavers threw a left hook. Okay. No marks on either man, with the exception of a slight bruise on the bridge of the nose of Ernie Shavers. Battle minute of round 10. Good 
Sabre. Oh, he punches up the middle. Good right hand by Sabre. be his legs. When he starts to tire, he will start to stumble a little bit. That cut on the bridge of the nose has opened a bit, or Sabres has cut somewhere else. No, it is the nose. Just a slight trickle of blood. Bernie Sabres has survived 10 rounds. As we go to round 11, here is Ernie Shavers and that right hand, and how well Ali rolls with a punch. Very well. That was a very hard punch. It was very smartly rolled by Ali. And then again, the man is very smart. He got hit with a good shot, and he covered up right off the bat. He didn't stand and try to fight back. He didn't try to uh, move around. He was covered. Ten rounds in the book. Ali wins all three cards in round 10. And Larry Merchant, how does that make it for the fight? Ali's ahead on all the cards. 6-4, six, 6-4 four, six, four by the judges, 6-3 and 1 by the referee. Something very humorous about this fight is the fact that when Ali went to the corner of that round, between the rounds, rather, Bodini's hand was really shaking when it took the mouth kick out. Bernie Shavers has given the champion much more than he expected through 10. And Shavers opening up in round 11. His... Manager Frankie Lucas said we're going to try to score with a lot of singles, load the bases, and go for a grand slam. And it appears Chambers has that right hand cocked and ready to go. The man can definitely punch him. And that one exchange that they both threw very good right hands. All he threw one and Chambers counted with a good right hand. Ollie's starting to move more now. Now he's facing there again. Okay, Shavers, One thing we haven't seen is yet is Shavers is hooked. He has a very good hook, he has a very good right uppercut. So far, it's been a straight right from the job, with the right hand over the top. Okay, we're hooking him. Out. Now, what is the advantage that Ali has, Kendall, knowing that Shavers has never gone beyond 10 and he's done it so many times? The advantage is knowing that he can do it and not knowing, not knowing when Sears can do it or not. And Ali's smart enough to know what he has to do to last the 15 rounds. And Sears has never won 15 rounds before. So therefore, he, he might extend himself too far. And Ali is, I think, banking on this later on in the fight. On the other hand, I think Sears is very confident that he can go 15 rounds. Because as I stated before, he's ran hard, he's trained hard, and really he's prepared for this fight. The thing you have to wonder about is whether he's so determined to go 15 that he may lose the fight and move to the 15. He's got to start doing something. Larry, that's a very good statement. There it is. Good right hand. Didn't get all of a lead, but he felt it. I think anything that Shavers hits you with, you will feel. The object isn't to go 15, it's to win. Thirty seconds left in round eleven. Oh, that's a beautiful execution of the left jab by Ali, and he followed it with a good hook. Sabres is way in that time in his shell, trying to get the position to throw the right hand. Some impressive scoring by Ali at the end of round eleven. Again, we're going to see that right hand again from Shavers. Definitely a good right hand. The man has a lot of power behind it. It's a good straight right hand. And it caught Ali with his chin going to the left, where normally he'd like to back away with his chin going the other direction. That could have caught him just right. Uh, right. I think Ali was, was caught a little off guard then because of the fact that his chin was on the left-hand side. And here's Shavers' wife again rooting, me on, rooting him on. She has to be very proud, regardless of the outcome tonight. Her husband has won some fans with his effort against the champion. Four rounds to go. Ali winning all three cards in 11. And now it's almost going to take a Shavers sweep of the last four rounds or a knockout to win the title. 
Shots, Bobby. Some of them are hitting the gloves, but some of them are also getting through. The jabs are very good. They're like pepper jab. Right on the bridge of the nose where the cut is. It has to be very annoying. Is it because Ali seems to be moving better, or is it true that perhaps Chambers finally looks a little slow? His feet aren't moving quite as uh, brightly as they were earlier. He's not as quick as before. He's more of a stationary target now, and Ali is definitely taking advantage of it. His head's in the same spot. All I know is where it's going to be, and that's what he has to do to hit him. One minute gone. Round 12. No knockdown. Shaver's best blows landed back in the second round. And I think the pattern of this round is going to be Ali starting out very quickly. He's going to close to the middle part of the round. The last 10 seconds, he's going to go for and try to see the judge's eyes. Sunday, October 2nd, a full slate of regional football action here on NBC following NFL 77 at 1230. New England and the Jets, the Steelers and the Browns, Buffalo, Baltimore, other NFL activity, Denver, Seattle, Houston, Miami, Cincinnati, San Diego. And after the action, NFL 77 brings you all the key scores and highlights. That's this Sunday on NBC. Angelo Dundee, some feel the best trainer in the business. Bundini Brown to the left of Ali. And it has to be now a more confident corner than, say, five rounds ago. Got some baseball scores for you. The Red Sox beat Toronto 7-3. The Orioles over the Tigers 6-3. The Yankees are 4-1. That's the last score we have. Final. Lost. They lost 4-1. So they still... Are at the magic number of one. The Yankees' magic number is one. Ali again, a full sweep. That's three straight rounds that Ali has taken the scores on all three cards. Three to go for Sabres. He now must win by knockout. Oh, oh good right hand. Ali. That was a vicious right hand, and Ali's knees buckled. He holds on. How hurt is he? And now he'll try to rope it up to try to recover. He's a very smart man. Shavers doesn't seem to know where he wants to go following up on that right hand. This is the difference between the 13th round and maybe the 6th round. Shavers maybe doesn't have the energy to follow up on a damaging blow. I don't think it's not, he doesn't have the energy. He's too confident in his uh, punching power. He knows he hurt the man with one punch. And he's probably been programmed doing his training uh, procedure for one punch and not expend his energy. It's kind of like a conditioning reflex now, not to use it. Okay. Two minutes left in round 13. 
get hurt and come back, we saw the numerous other bikes get hurt and come right back. And you broke his jaw. <laughs> and he stayed with it. <laughs> but we don't know when, do we? He says one, I say twelve. Then we had Shepard's corner hard that he was too right high with the right hand countering back. And he lowered it and it was right on the button. Good round for Savers, but he needs to follow up. He trails on points to the champion here in round 13. You got the win of all. Oh, oh, oh. Great right hand, and that really nailed Ali. You can see his mouth fall open. Savers can't follow up again with 30 seconds left in round 13. going for him in this fight. No matter what happens, he still has his punching power. And he can always hurt you with one good punch any time during the fight. But time's running out. Two rounds left after this one. Ali survives 13. Best Shavers round, perhaps, since early in the fight. Here we go, the Ernest Shavers flurry here. He comes over with a good right hand, right on the right side, left hand side of Raleigh's face. And he tries to follow up with a good body shot, I think. It stopped on me. Okay, here's a second flurry. Another good right hand over the top, right on the button, which proves that Ali can take a very oh, good shot. Can he ever? And when you write all of the great things that Muhammad Ali has done in his boxing career that has to stand there the, the men at ringside know that uh, Ali probably as well as any champion in history is able to take a man's best shot that's very true earlier in his career the, the, the rap was that Ali cannot take a good shot he can do this but he got knocked down a few times so they rapped him about it but I think in his later years he has proven that he's also a good fighter and he can also take a very good shot as well as any heavyweight champion we've had in the past well he's needed to be a good catcher tonight Shavers takes all of the cards in 13 two rounds to go Larry do you have them totaled at this point how do the referee and two judges see it at this stage Shavers would have to knock him out to win this fight so Ali can lose the last two rounds by the referee and the two judges and still remain champion whether Shavers knows that or not we don't know ourselves So he thinks he can put Shavers away. Very good combinations with very good speed, and they're all landing. Ernie's still waiting for that one good shot. He stays in the shell and he comes back with a hard shot. He's a little slower with his punches, as you can see. This is what Ollie was waiting for, for his hand speed and his experience to take over. One minute gone, round 14. No knockdowns in the fight. Ali winning on points. Shavers has scored the heavier blows, but Ali able to stay on his feet and weather those few storms. Break now. Break now. But for a man who rep the reputation of being knockout or not finished, oh, there it is. Ali is down for the fifth time I think he's in his career. Ali caught oh, no, him the referee, slip. John Lopiaga. They're going to call it a slip. They started the count. The mandatory eight count is in effect here in New York, so that was a slip. They started to count. You notice in this flurry, Ali's trying to block his right hand with his shoulder. Every time Shiver goes overhand right, he's trying to roll his shoulder and make the punch block glance off. There's still plenty of dynamite in Shaver's punches. One minute remaining in round 14. One of Ali's tactics Shavers is using there.
Very exciting round. Half minute left in round 14. Sabres fighting out of desperation, looking for that lightning in the bottle. That was a good right hand by Sabres. Hurt. Ali looks hurt. He's definitely hurt. Three minutes to go. Muhammad Ali held back to the corner by Angelo Dundee. And he'll sit down this time. And we're going to check that action in round 14. First the slip. As Ali pushing himself off Shavers obviously was not down from the force of a blow but others landed that could have dropped the champion and here are some of those another good right hand by Shavers right on the button Ali was definitely hurt but if you notice now that he is hurt he still covers up he knows what to do he knows how to outsmart the many off Shavers obviously was not down from the force of a blow but others landed that could have dropped the champion and here are some of those Another good right hand by Shavers, right on the button. Ali was definitely hurt, but if you notice now that he is hurt, he still covers up, he knows what to do, he knows how to outsmart the man, he's tying him up to make sure that he doesn't get caught with another good shot. This is where your experience tells over, or takes over. It's a big round from Shavers, but even though he probably won the round, that isn't going to be enough. We In go to the final three minutes, Larry. In retrospect, you wonder... If he wasn't so concerned about going the 15, he didn't wait too long to start coming on. No one thought he'd be here at 15, but we're to the last three minutes of the fight. No matter Sabres. what happens, Ernie Sabres has definitely surprised the boxing world. There won't be too many men waiting in line to fight Sabres the next time out. He's proven he's tough. A good right hand by Sabres. And Sabres still looking for the championship. If he can put together a flurry and put the champion away. But no one's ever been able to do that. Good right hand by Sabres. Sabres obviously won 14. He's won the last two rounds, but Ali may know that he has the decision to just stay on his feet. I'm certain Sabres knows what kind of predicament he's in. This is the last round. He knows what he has to do. and knows he has the power to do it. I'm sure he's going to go all out. Escape this 15th round. We're at the halfway mark. 130 left. Good right hand by Ali. Trying to ward off Shavers. Good right hand by Shavers. It's right on its feet at the Garden in New York. And regardless of the outcome, they've seen a whale of a heavyweight fight. Good hook by Ali. He's trying to drag hook. in the final minute against a ferocious challenger who's given Ali a better fight than anyone expected except the Sabres camp. It would appear that Sabres has survived 15 much too well. Ali hurt him with the hook at that time. Sabres hit Ali with the hook. 30 seconds left. And everybody in the area is on their feet.
feet at the Garden, applauding both the challenger Ernie Sabers and the champion Muhammad Ali. They're starting to crowd around the ring. We'll have the decision of the referee, LaBianca, the judges, Mr. Castellano, and Ms. Shane. And I'm sure many of those here in the Garden feel that Ernie Shavers has won the fight. We have given you the official scorecards of the two judges and referee throughout the night. So some of the drama of the decision is taken. But the reaction is going to be obvious. And there's doubt in most of the minds of the thousands here at the Garden tonight. Muhammad Ali, not down but hurt. Ernie Shavers going 15, totally un unexpected, but hurt himself in the final seconds of the 15th round. And for Ken Norton and others, hope by the other challengers that Ali is close to losing that crown. Larry, as we wait the decision, you have to anticipate a reaction from this crowd. I think many of the folks rooting for the underdog and perhaps seeing with their hearts and not their eyes think Shavers have won. I have, I have two observations here, Dick. One is you saw the great fighting heart and competitive, competitiveness of Ali at the end of that fight. When he was really hurt, he was rocked, and yet he took charge of the last 30 seconds. He says, I'm still the boss in here. But I think you're going to see when and if Ali gets the decision, as we expect, you're going to see a tremendous uproar from Shaver's camp. They think they have won this fight. And, of course, you get the one chance, and sometimes the others don't come for a long, long time. Shaver's goes to Ali's corner to congratulate him on a great fight and certainly one of the touching moments of this game, a very rough, sometimes brittle game, is the, the love and affection that fighters earn from one another after battling for 10 or 15, and Shavers is a tired fighter, as you might imagine. Ali the same. Shavers wobbly as he is held back from the Ali corner by his cornerman. Shavers reminds you of the miler who, when he gets to the tape, he collapses. He gave everything he had, and at the very end, he looked like he had nothing left. He paced himself exactly. Here's a man again who had gone more than six rounds only seven times, never beyond 10, and he was on his feet at 15 and giving Ali all that he wanted, the champion of the world. We're still waiting for the final tabulation and the okay from the New York Athletic Commission of the scoring of the two judges and referee, and of course the drama that will ensue here in ring circle when the announcement is made by Jack Lee. Larry, is there any doubt in your mind, though, and in some ways it's, it's sad, I suppose, for those who have followed Ali, much as the sadness that accompanied Joe Lewis when he came back after retirement. And Ezra Charles, uh, 27 years ago this week in New York City, defeated the aging champion Joe Lewis. You can see it coming for Muhammad Ali. Well, I think Ali retired as an athlete about two years ago. He's fighting as a businessman now. He can make so much money by fighting these fights that it's just impossible for him for him to walk away from it. You can hardly blame him. And yet the great fighters, Dempsey, Robinson, Joe Lewis, they all lost, uh, and yet they have retained their great aura of uh, their great legends. Well, Ali still has the pretty image, and he is a, a beautiful athlete. He won the gold medal in the Rome Olympics as a light heavyweight. Turned pro in late 1960, won the title in 1964 from Sonny Liston. Shortly after that, changed from Cassius Clay to Muhammad Ali. Then the Vietnam situation, retirement for three years, came back in Zaire to take the title back from George Foreman and now defends for his 19th time tonight against Ernie Shavers. Here is the official announcement of the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the scoring of tonight's 15-round heavyweight fight Judge Eva Shane scores the fight nine rounds, Ali, six rounds, Shavers. Judge Tony Castellano, nine rounds, Ali, six rounds, Shavers. Referee Johnny Lobianco, nine rounds, Ali, five rounds, Shavers, one even, the winner. And still champion of the world, the one and only, 
Muhammad Ali. There you have it, 9-6, 9-6, 9-5, and one even. The Shavers camp and the those who cheer the underdog unhappy with the decision. With a game challenger, here's Larry Merchant. Er, er, Ernie, Ernie, did you feel you had won the fight? I did. Why did you start so late to swarm over him? Well, I won't take my time to burn myself out. My first 15 rounds, I won't take any chances. You were just so concerned about going to 15 that your husband and all of your energy. Yeah, well, you... I should have won sooner, but I think I still won the fight. Did you think you had him seriously hurt yes, at did. any time? When? A couple of times. I can remember a round, but two times I had him hurt. Two times. Do you think you've earned his respect as man to man in here? Yes, I think so. Was he disrespectful to you early in the fight yes. when he was talking to you? Yes, he was. When did he stop talking? Well, most probably through the fight. <laughs> what are he your feelings him. now if you had to do it all over again? I'll fight him again. What I way would him. you fight him differently? I'll put more pressure on him. More early. pressure. Early. Thank you very much, Ernie, and now to Dick Enberg. He's still a champion, Muhammad Ali. How much did he hurt you? First, I want to say I'm thankful to Almighty God, Allah. I want to say hi, salam alaikum to all the Muslims, all my friends, friends, and enemies alike. I'm thankful to God because his name is in great shape. Stay around. Have your father. Friend of Allah. Believe in strong men of God and faith. He appeared to hurt you. Champ, he appeared to hurt you in the second round. Were you stunned then? Second, ninth, the tenth. Uh, stunned in the last round. There's the power of Allah, God. They pulled me through, sent my cries in the mosque together, and put God before man. And this phrase, always praising his name, he blesses us. Muhammad, All we, thanks go to Allah. We've got to go. Congratulations. A great fight. Muhammad Ali, still the heavyweight champion of the world. Our thanks to Larry Merchant, Joe Garagiola, Ken Norton for his expertise at ringside. Good evening from Madison Square Garden, where Muhammad Ali has defeated Ernie Shavers in 15. Ken, what was your observation on the fight? It showed that Ali was a very persistent man. It showed that uh, Ernie Shivers was in very... It also showed that uh, Shivers was in very good condition. And he fooled a lot of people. What did, what did you learn from that fight, if anything? Well, that Ali can hit with an overhand right and that uh, he can be cornered and he can be tagged good. But then again, Ali showed a lot of persistence. He showed a lot of uh, desire and good heart. Did, As... did Ernie Shavers surprise you at all? Yes, he did. He surprised you? Yes, he did. Ken enjoyed working with you. Once again, for all of us, good night, everybody. The World Heavyweight Championship has been brought to you by Anheuser-Busch St. Louis, brewers of world-renowned Budweiser, the king of beers. When did you say Budweiser? This Saturday, following Grandstand at 2 o'clock Eastern time, it's the Tigers against the Yankees in Baltimore at Boston. And football. On Sunday, a full slate of regional games following NFL 77 at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And Tuesday night, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, the National League Championship Series starts from Los Angeles. The Philadelphia Phillies and the Los Angeles Dodgers. And then the American League Championship Series starts on Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. The Championship Series, 8 o'clock Tuesday night from Los Angeles, and then on Wednesday, 3 o'clock Eastern Time, all here on NBC. Tona now stay tuned for The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson following your local news on most of these NBC stations. <laughs>